Hello and welcome to the fourth tutorial in the C++ programming series and we're going to be looking at data types. We won't actually be doing any coding in this tutorial but we're going to be looking at data types and we'll just be explaining it within a little text editor. So data types. Uh, data types are the type of, <laughs> it's really sort of like not difficult to explain but it's sort of weird. It's the type of data that it is. So for example you have integers which are whole numbers, so this is a data type, and you have a specific data type name for these as well. So in code, if you want to create a variable that is an integer, you would use the keyword int. You have float, which is decimal numbers, and in code, if you want to create it, you use the keyword float. You have double, which is essentially a float, but he has more accuracy than a float, aka more accuracy than yeah, fine, more accuracy than a float, aka more decimal places. You probably won't be able, you probably won't be using double that much. Probably float more than anything. You have boolean, which is the boolean boolean which is true or false one or zero on or off however you want to look at it so it's either one or of two states and in code if you want to create a variable it's bool then you also have char which is character and which is basically just a single character so a b C. Also, if you have a capital A compared to a lowercase a, it is essentially different. So if you were to do a comparison between maybe two variables, one has an uppercase A, one has a lowercase a, a general, just a simple comparison will come up as false because they are different. And to declare a keyword with this, I mean a variable with this, you use the keyword char there's also another one called string but we're not really going to be covering it because we're going to have a separate tutorial for that as that actually has its own header as well so it's a little more complex than some of these that's it for this tutorial here for data types in the next um tutorial we're going to be looking at variables if you have any questions feel free to message us at support us on our system uk the email will be in the description you can comment on this video or just directly message us for youtube whatever you feel comfortable with and as usual thanks for watching and i hope you have a nice day